I'm <laughs> muted. I was muted. You, you, you're doing the bat Tuesday, and I liked it. Yeah. Wow. It's a classic. Welcome, everybody. It's the weekly by Nerder, she wrote. It's the weekly by Captain TV. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, we will. Wow. Nerder, you are here with the weekly. Oh my God, am I here with Christopher Walken? Uh, wow. I'm here with wow. the week weekly. I'm excited. I'm excited. I can't believe Christopher Walken is co-hosting the weekly with me this week. I'm going to read everything like this. Two, two full hours of this voice. I can't wait. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't let me down, Christopher Walken. Well, okay. Don't let me Murder, down. <laughs> she wrote. Um, wow. Stop <laughs> muting Juice. When did I mute? Yeah, Mac. Yeah, I'm... Mac. Stop muting me. I have agency. <laughs> Hand check. I am not in control of the stream. This is all Juice. I just show up. Uh, that's not true. You're clearly running the show, and everything that goes wrong is your fault. And everything that goes uh, right is my fault. Right, 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 right. Arrow Garfield in the chizat. I won't be walking away from this stream. Get it? Walking away. I don't. I don't really. Christopher walking away. Get it? Mm hmm. Do, do you like get it? Though? Like Christopher walking, like walking. I totally. Walking. I totally get it. I get the joke? I totally get it. Max. <laughs> Golden's out there. First one. No. No? <laughs> what do you mean, no? Well, I don't know what. Everything's I fine. I scrolled up and saw first. first ah, that come was on. Golden. It never. It could never happen. Every week, number one. I want to see if somebody's gonna challenge golden's uh superiority of being the number one pre-stream all-star <laughs> yeah we need a pre we need a pre-stream team hype mm -hmm. in the chat right yep. now it's just golden it's just golden hyping golden up and us we and appreciate us, it we're like we're here we're just not mm -hmm. like live but we yeah, see it but we're we like, see oh, it cool. like there there's our golden aw shucks Ah, shucks. It's June 1st. Yeah. Rabbit, rabbit. Who? Rabbit, rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit? Don't you got to say on the first of every month, rabbit, rabbit, or white rabbit? I've, and then you get good, I've never heard that. And then you get that. good luck for the I've whole month. I've never heard that. Is that a... But it's got, yeah, it's got... But it's got to be... I think it's got to be the first thing you say. So I already lost. So that means I'm not going to have a lucky month. Is that a Connecticut thing or just like a... No. A Miyakianzi thing. No, it's real. I've never heard that before. Has anybody else heard that before? Bernadette? I think it's ra rabbit rabbit or white rabbit. What a white rat white elephant gift? No, that's different. That's Hold the on, only thing I know about. Rabbit rabbit on the first of the month. Yeah, that's new to everybody because she just made that up. Oh, it's actually three rabbits. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit is a superstition found in Britain and North America. Britain. Uh, it's uh, we're in a person says or repeats the words rabbit, rabbits, and or white rabbits. So I wasn't totally wrong. Allowed upon waking on the first day of a month to ensure good luck for the rest of it. What if, what if you say it internally in your brain but not out loud? I think you gotta say it out loud. It's kind of like, I think. I think, you got, I think you got to manifest it, you know, like the universe can't hear what's in my head. I gotta can it, it though? It, maybe it can. I mean, it's just a bunch of neurons, right? I mean, maybe, but why take the chance? Why not just say it out loud just to cover your bases? Okay, I'm just making sure because what if you wake up and the first thing is that pops into your head is like, oh, gosh, I have to say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And then you ruined it by by thinking, oh, you gosh, ruined it. you know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't do that. Wow. <laughs> I learned that that was one of those um do you you might have been too old but do you remember face from Nickelodeon <laughs> do you remember face Nick it was like Nick kids or whatever Aza? 
or like someone's face. face. It was, it was, his name was Face, but it was just a colorful full screen. I remember Face Man from the A team. No. It was, uh, it was Face. Benedict, what's his name? Dirk, Dirk, uh, Dirk Cumberbatch? Dirk, no. Dirk Benedict? Is that right? Garrett Fawcett knows who I'm talking about. Benedict Cumberbatch? Um, Cumber, Cumberbund Lumberbatch. <laughs> Uh, or maybe it was Stick Stickly. Do you remember Stick Stickly? No. Oh no, my God. I remember Come from Nickelodeon, on. like, Clarissa Explains It All. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, guts, Nickelodeon Guts. Guts! Do, do, of course, do you have of it? course, uh, Double Dare. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't say that on television, which I think was just a Canadian show that they, like, put on Nickelodeon. Like, uh, you know that <sighs> thing. Yeah, because like Alana, watched... Alanis Morissette was in that. I they I'm pretty sure they addressed that in the the documentary about Nickelodeon, the Orange Years, I think it was called. Really? Mm-hmm. That's cool. And they talk about like the the start of Nickelodeon and how like trailblazing it was for children's television. It was. It is. Yeah. It is. It, it was. was. Remember like the Nickelodeon Studios, and that was like a thing people Yo, wanted to go visit. I wanted visit. to go there. I wanted to go so bad. I wanted to be on Double Dare. We've, I feel like I we talked about slimed. this. I want to get slimed. What, what, <laughs> what game are we doing, Stream Raiders? Sorry, I just had to update it, which is what you heard the bidi ba doop. And then I was thinking about. Bidi ba doop. I had to install. You, I'm doing things behind the scenes. Y'all don't even know. All right. I know no, it seems see? like a very seamless he's, show. He's the one running it. Just, I know it feels you know, real natural and point. easy, but I'm over here just like that. I'm sorry, what was that again? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. All right, cool. It's back up. It's like well, that, okay, look, it's like that, somebody yo. decided to do an update in the middle of the weekly. To you know, like, It's like our coworkers don't even know or care that we do this every week oh yeah you know yeah they don't even yeah. tune in there's not even a <laughs> single ctv person that tunes in except for me and you buddy but you Is know that what true? i think it actually might be true i don't know i see a ctv person lurking oh good we got one we got one boys <laughs> they're all busy with their meetings and their real work juice and making a game <laughs> yeah it's so rude like they can't just take a couple hours out of their day to hang out with us i mean if i've got to take a couple hours of my day to hang out with you they should have to do it too <laughs> bum, bum, ba -da. <laughs> welcome to the weekly by captain tv it's the weekly by Captain TV. Whoa, whoa, we go. <laughs> That's next week's promo. Tune in this week. <laughs> Tune in this week, and we'll sell. We're giving away Juice's Tears. And this week's see. giveaway is Gamer Tears. Gamer Tears. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, how much do I have to pay people to receive vials of my tears? What I what I want is to to bottle all of the tears from from people who excitedly get raided by us at the end of the show. Oh, I love those are my favorite tears. Yeah. I want to drink them. We had a good one. La was it last time? It was either last yeah. weekly or the AMA. We had a really good one. Mm. Yeah, I feel like the last the last bunch have been pretty. Yeah, pretty, pretty we good. have. The, it's there good was track record. Yeah, no like pressure overall, today. overall, we do pretty well. Now we've we've jinxed ourselves. I was gonna say, yeah, it's gonna be. We better get a good one today, or else. It might have been Damn It, Bobby. Yeah, that might have been it. That's who I'm thinking of. Damn It, Bobby Damn got it, all Bobby. excited. And 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 Mac and I were gleefully like, 
<laughs> Cry. Yes. <laughs> Give me your tears. <laughs> I feed off of them. That's mm -hmm. how I I look so young. I, I drink I drink gamer tears. We lick the tears off your cheek. COVID be damned. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Okay, we're starting over. We made it pretty far this oh, week, but uh, we did pretty good. We made it 11 minutes in. All right, let we me crank the music back up. Here we go. All right, all right, Take all number right. two. <laughs> okay, if I'm back, I'm like John. I've got jaundice, depending on the angle. Yeah, what's going on with you today? I you don't know. Smoking a lot. Natural lighting. <laughs> <laughs> that natural lighting hold on though. a second i can fix it he's gonna fix it he's gonna fix it i'm gonna fix it hold on oh oh oh, oh my gosh i got caught i got cabled oh, oh. hello fixed. oh look at that fixed well it's I, my i have these led soft box lights and i can either do warm or cool but usually oh, yeah. the cool is like now i'm a vampire yep it's tough yeah i don't want to be different. a vampire i want to be a justice uh, i could try and be orange for you you want me to be orange for you uh like in your recap video from your three-year stream anniversary where you were just like a, uh, an oompa loompa in one of them i miss my tan so much was it tan it looked you looked straight up I, orange i used to have a different well, I had it used to have a different camera. Yeah, there was something. It was different more than PC. just it being a tan. And it was just like one clip in particular. Like I could see on other ones where you were just tan and it looked natural. And then one yeah. I was just like, what is this? Are we in yeah. Willy Wonka's factory? Yes. This isn't that kind of streaming site. Make the world better. Uh, What kind of? Oh. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> All right. Hey. Is this? The weekly it's the weekly by captain tv glee mm. wow wow we will it's wednesday june 1st dateline wednesday june 1st 2 13 p.m central time uh well i guess 3 13 p.m nerder time and you're That's here true. with us sorry you've made poor choices next screen Oh, it's the weekly report over here. The weekly report. Port, 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 port. We have a lot. We have some things to talk about. Yeah, like what? Like Star Wars celebration. Woo! Halo Infinite's office. What? Wish upon a star. What could that mean? I don't know. Willow returns. Very straightforward. Blah, blah. Oh, what is that? That's what they called me in high school. Stop it. <laughs> and then summer, summer, summer time. Oh, I get it now. Get it now? Yeah, it's like Will Smith too soon. Um, oh, right. I forgot he's canceled. I mean, I don't. I don't know if he's canceled. Should we have? Should we add a segment? Remember Will Smith? No. <laughs> he, you he, haven't heard from him in a minute. Oh <laughs> uh, man, it's awkward. It's Taco Taco. Taco Taco Tuesday on a Wednesday. That's right. The weekly right. report. Look, um, we got Star Wars stuff because Star Con fan thing happens. What's it called? Yeah. Uh, Star Wars Celebration 2022. Yeah, Star Wars Celebration 2022 happened over the weekend, I believe. I saw yes. a couple friends posting some pictures from. Is it San Jose? Or no, no, no. I mean, they're near. They're in Anaheim, right? The thing is yeah. in Anaheim. Yeah. Uh, Pretty sure. Yes. Bonjour. Yeah. Pseudo Dispo. Ça va, ça va bien. Mais oui, c'est magnifique. Oh. Je parle français très mal, n'est-ce pas? Bonjour. Bon Bonjour, mon Bonjour. ami. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Juice Dice Taivai. 
Comment ça va? Je voudrais acheter une baguette, s'il vous plaît. That's um, only like a third of all the store stuff. I know. We, look, we can't myself. cover can't, everything. I couldn't put Come it all on. on the slide. Yeah, okay. settle down. It's too much on the Come eyes. Come on with the Star Wars all the time. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, we're in space. Hey, we I got a laser beam over here. Yet, hey, Darth like, Vader, what's up? How you doing, <laughs> bud? You got a lot of, you got maybe the, the, so much black on you. Maybe uh, <laughs> add a little splash of color, like a red pocket square or something classy like that, you know? Oh, a red pocket square to match your lightsaber. That's oh, nice. Oh, yeah. This, this guy <laughs> over here. What a wise guy. Dapper Dan over here. I okay, so look, I had never seen Goodfellas, and Ray Liotta passed away, mm -hmm. and so I was like, I'm gonna watch Good Feather Fe Feathers. I'm gonna watch Good Feathers, and I did, and I liked it. It was good. Yeah, I, it was probably not what you expected. Good Feathers. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there's so many seagulls and. <laughs> They're like the seagulls versus the pigeons. It was a real. <laughs> um, Flapping their wings around. No, it was great. If you haven't seen Goodfellas, I mean, look. Honestly, I haven't. I've only seen like the iconic scenes that I'm sure everyone's mm. seen, but I haven't seen the whole movie. It's good. It's a good movie. Uh, and then I started My Cousin Vinny and oh. so far. Ah! Fish out of water. Yeah, it, I mean that's the classic, you know. I gotta see it. I just got to the part, the two utes part. Uh, uh -oh. excuse me, the two utes. What exactly is a ute? I don't. I, when did Ray Liotta I, pass away? It was like a few, couple. four, two, three, yeah. four days ago. Uh, he was in. I don't know what the cause of death or anything was, but. I think he was like vacationing or in the Bahamas or something. Anyway. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and, I didn't know uh, that part. Yeah, I don't know. He's pretty young. I mean, I think he's only in his 60s, man. You know, like, yeah. I know that feels old when you're 20, but when you're in your 40s, 60 doesn't seem that old anymore, you know? You know? Yeah. Um, so yeah, we had the Star Wars celebration, and as Lockmusta has pointed out, this is not all of the announcements that have come out of this weekend's celebration. These are just a few, but yeah. there's been a lot. Um, we got the Star Wars Andor trailer and release date revealed. Andor, the Disney Plus original series starring Diego Luna. This will be the Rogue One prequel, so. And or what? Nostril cam. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to premiere officially on August 31st. So, oh, a couple months. That's, so coming, that's up. coming up. That's, that's coming, coming up. I'm We're gonna watch Twitch. the show. No, I'm gonna on the weekly by Captain or. TV. Oh. I'll watch it and or not watch it. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. It's I didn't episodes. know. Okay, look, I know now because Star Wars fans, but uh, Obi Wan came out and I haven't watched it. I'm gonna. Wow. I will. F's, I will. F's I just didn't know. Chat. I didn't F's, know. F's in the chat. That means we can't even talk about it. We can't talk. A lot of people haven't seen it. All right, just Come relax. On. We weren't gonna oh. spoil it. Uh, guess what? Obi Wan Kenobi is in it. I was gonna spoil everything. It it has <laughs> Obi Wan in it. It's Ewan McGregor, and Your he's all like, uh, "Oh, hey there." Who else is in it? Uh, well, I know that there's an actress named Moses in it because she's been getting unfortunate messages from Star Wars fans. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, Does it I have did sand? Watch it. There's definitely sand in it. Oh, yeah. There's uh, sand. He for sure has like some sort of a weird cape slash coat thing where it's like real long. 
it's like kind of a poncho but not really in the front <laughs> I was there. It's kind of like a long vest of, in the back. He does have that long cloak, and it's like kind of the premise is you know the they're looking for Jedi, and I'm like, you know what's one way to not know you're to like go undercover so people yeah. don't know you're a Jedi is to not wear that robe thing everywhere. It's his. It's his. <laughs> it's his uniform. I was like, dude, you're supposed to be like laying low. Maybe like a different outfit. Yeah. Just it's put on different. like some nice slacks and a button down, you know. Put on a top hat. No one's gonna know. <laughs> just <laughs> maybe avoid the earth tones. Maybe just like, you know, bright green shirt, black yeah. pants. Nobody will see it coming. Yeah. Uh well, I'm sad that you haven't seen it yet, but I'm excited for you. It's I liked it. I saw the first two episodes. I think there's a third one that dropped, maybe. Um but so far, so good. And I think it was the highest rated Disney Plus premiere. Premiere, yes. So that's pretty wild. Yeah, I mean, that's you know, how many have they had? Like 10? I don't know. A lot, I feel like. The feel Marvel like every ones? Other month. Yeah, Marvel and, and, well, and Star Wars now. Yeah, and Star Wars now. Um, So we got Andor coming up. Um, bu- 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 what else do we have? Visions. Visions is is Scarlet Witch in that one too or oh <laughs> no that's a different oh hold on let me scroll down to that one Visions to return spring of 2023 with volume two so that's uh, one of the animated shorts that they oh have. um I did not see Visions one but who's this guy with the up. robot on his back so that's the new game coming out oh. Uh, uh star wars jedi survivor announced and we'll have a 2023 release oh. so if you haven't played the first one yet you've got time to play through it and so you're ready to go for the next one cool speaking of playing yeah. speaking of playing games it's, like it's we time play. for raiding the stream stream raid raiders boom, boom, we should make boom, boom. i want like an 80s sitcom intro version of the song whoa look at the captain t you are flying what? bud holy guacamole what was that I, you're on you're I, out of control did oh was there God. some kind of a boost look at me run i've never <laughs> ran so fast in my entire life <laughs> do you uh this is fun in, in real life this is actually a real thing um nerder she wrote runs like tj hooker like what the do t- I do? TJ Hooker. You know TJ Hooker? No. So William Shatner n- n- <laughs> notoriously oh. runs real weird. And so in the opening credits of the of his TV sitcom or was sitcom, I don't know, called TJ Hooker, where he played a police officer, it shows him running and it's like, it's funny. Don't worry about it. It's not a bad oh, thing. It's a joke. I, you you could have said like a more, and even this reference isn't even that up to date anymore. But Phoebe from Friends, everyone knows that she runs weird. Does she? I could see that. I feel like everything like Lisa whole, Kudrow does episode, is weird. There's a whole episode. She runs like, like this. <laughs> Tom Cruise has running, <laughs> has like rules about running in films. What's his rules about running? Uh. Well, if you look like on if you if you you, uh, Google Tom Cruise running, the first thing that shows up is an 18 minute video of just Tom Cruise running from every film, like every running scene. But (laughs) uh, there's something about. He he will not run if other people are in the scene with him. So as to be compared to other people. Oh, so like you can maybe notice it if you watch any of your Tom Cruise films. Top Run, does Tom Cruise ban co-stars from sprinting alongside him on scene? I don't want to know the answer, but I'm pretty sure the answer is yes. That's so there you go. It's a thing. Bizarro. Hmm. I- I've heard some interesting like diva on set stuff about various actors and actresses well because you were on the you were in the business as they say yeah but that one i haven't heard <laughs> that's a, a different one apparently it's a thing 
I mean, I get it. You wouldn't want people to like outrun you or whatever. Well, but like, so you gotta trust he's the, also you gotta trust he's the also process. short. So yeah. if you're in a full body, if you're like zoomed out to watch somebody run, all of a sudden he's going to appear short next to his co-star as well. Yeah, but like the director knows how to like fix that and angle that so that they would look the same. I don't know. Who knows, man? I you can't tell you. You gotta trust the process. People gotta trust the process more. I don't know. Um, I don't know. He's four foot um, five. It's true. He's he's real. He's real little. Um. Also, their Star Wars skeleton crew officially announced for 2023 with Jude Law. Hmm. Um. Not sure what the skeleton crew is, but we love some Jude Law. Yeah. Um, it's a another Disney Plus original series uh, created by Spider-Man No Way Home's John Watts and Christopher Ford. It will follow a group of 10-year-old kids from a small planet who get lost in that galaxy far, far away and must try to find their way home. The story will take place after Return of the Jedi and will fit within the timeline of The Mandalorian and Asho Ahsoka? Ahsoka. Gesundheit. Th um... um and Mandalorian season three is coming in 2023. Uh, they're already planning season four. Mm -hmm. uh, Star Wars The Bad Batch season two. A uh, trailer released. Another Disney Plus for the fall of this year. There's just like a ton. There's a ton of Star Wars content coming out. Like, is it too much? It's it's kind of. I feel like it's too much because I think it's like the completionist in me. And I'm like trying to understand the story and everything. And I'm like, hi chicken. Thanks for the race. There's, there's too many. Uh, hi chicken. CTV chicken. What are you doing here? What are you doing He's here? chicken us out. Um, but yeah, I, I, I haven't watched any of the animated stuff. Cause it's just like, that's a whole other thing. There's just too much. And There's it a all, lot. Like, it all connects, and then you, I don't know. But I will be <laughs> checking out Andor, Obi Wan for sure, and the Skeleton Crew sounds dope. So I'll probably check that out. The animated stuff I'll probably skip. I like animated stuff in theory. I find that they it the, the doesn't rise to the top for me. Like in my or and like things I want to watch so I never get there yeah. and then it's like 15 seasons in and I'm not going to start at the yeah. beginning you know what I mean yeah same it's just a, it's too overwhelming and there's just so many other shows out right now <laughs> yeah Plus Stranger Things also just dropped um I'm behind on that too I watched the so, first episode what happened to Barbara <laughs> he's still pissed about that <laughs> They wrapped up the season. Everybody was all happy. And I'm like, you all forgot about your friend. The friend that she, got captured because you forgot about her in the first place. And you still she, for, done forgot about her. She gone. So I don't like they it. Can do. No, they can I don't. Do. They they can pretend to be sad for a minute. Yeah, they, I don't even think they realized she was missing. They were just like, oh. That's not true. They know. They don't they know. Just, listen, everyone mourns in their own way. Yeah, some people mourn by having a pizza party, apparently. <laughs> hey, I like I eat my feelings, so I'll I'll eat some pizza over Barbara's death. What <laughs> toppings would you put on a Barbara pizza? Red pepper. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like something boring. <laughs> How dare like you? A, what's a boring pizza topping? Plain cheese. That's not. That's exciting. That gets my taste buds excited. <laughs> the lack I'm of already... the lack of other <laughs> tastes is so exciting to me. I love cheese. The more the more I can taste the cheese, the better. <laughs> <laughs> Scourge says Bad Batch is good. Maybe I haven't checked it out yet. Don't know what that is. It's another another Star Wars. Oh, more Star Wars. So many. When in doubt. It's Star Wars. What is this? Microsoft's Clippy. Clippy! Halo Infinite's new season adds Clippy from Microsoft Office. What? 
Halo Infinite Season 2 may be titled Lone Wolves, but Spartans will never have to go at it alone in battle thanks to the arrival of Clippy, the cartoon paperclip virtual assistant for Microsoft Office Suite. Clippy is among the many cosmetic rewards coming in Halo Infinite Season 2 and will be ever present in battle as a new legendary tier gun charm. I like it. I like it. All right. <laughs> Way to use your own like IP in mm -hmm. games and stuff. Like, why wouldn't you use Clippy more? People love Clippy. I feel like he's having a huge comeback right now. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Um, let's see. Season two launched this week, actually yesterday, uh, bringing with it a new battle pass for Halo Infinite, full of stuff to unlock and collect. Uh, Clippy is not part of the regular battle pass track, though. Ugh. Womp, womp, womp. So uh, be on the lookout for that. There's also an unlockable teabag weapon charm coming. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> for a look at what's included in Halo Infinite Season 2 battle pass, check out 343 Industries walkthrough. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Cool. So if you, if you haven't gotten Clippy yet, there you go. Uh, Pinocchio, have you checked out the new trailer? Nope. It looks good. We got a teaser before, but this is like our first actual look at the movie. And who uh, is Geppetto again? Is it Tom, Tom Hanks? Hanks? Yeah. They couldn't have found an Italian actor for that? I wow. feel like Tom Hanks is great. Tom Hanks is great. He and he, he's like the perfect uh it's so funny his career because he was like the young college frat guy, like that type of typecasting for a while. I mean bosom buddies, you know? Yeah. And then Turner and, then I feel and Hooch. Like, yeah, mid mid career it was more like rom like rom com -com yeah. You've got mail. And then it's now it's like into like just old captain man Hanks. old guy yeah the old wise he was guy. mr rogers <laughs> yeah just like old old wholesome guy stuff yeah i felt like the uh da vinci code stuff was like really right on the cusp between like leading man action hero kind of thing and but he was already kind of over the line into like i'm probably a little bit too old to be the leading man action hero like running and doing pull-ups kind of a thing yeah so now now i'm glad that he's fully transitioned over to the next stage of his acting career you know and he's killing he is... it he's doing great i love tom hanks please like i really hope there's never a tom hanks scandal can we just can we there <laughs> He, his people will can never we, let that happen. Can we make sure that <laughs> there's no topics? That will be me. That'll be so sad. There were a couple but, people that I feel like you would just be heartbroken if you if there yeah. was like a Me Too scandal, you know? That would, he would definitely be one because it's like, oh. oh, he seems so trustworthy. <laughs> um, but the the first trailer that dropped only features a small look at the. Uh, Pinocchio, played by Benjamin Evan Ainsworth. Uh, Geppetto, we said, is Tom Hanks. Uh, who else we've got? The Blue Fairy is Cynthia uh, Erivo. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Um, Keegan Mikey, Michael Key's in it, Lorraine Bracco, Joseph, Joseph Gordon Levitt, who plays uh, Jimmy Cricket. So, a really, really great cast. And it'll be on Disney Plus on September 8th. So, I mean, just even more Disney Plus content. Oh, so it's not, it's not gonna it's going to be in theaters? I don't think so. I think it's going straight to Disney Plus. Interesting. Huh. It, that is interesting. You're Dying interesting. to know how uh, they measure success on that one. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Willow what? is coming back. The yeah, original movie debuted in 1988 and was not well received but it's become a cult classic over time and we're finally getting a sequel that will appear on disney plus everything's on disney plus <laughs> everything's on disney plus now so uh, if you don't have it get it the, yeah i guess this trailer came out at uh star wars celebration yes um 
but like, I thought opened I, the ceremony, which I didn't weird. know that Willow was like a Disney property, I guess, but I I never really watched it. I remember like they slide down a hill like on a shield or something. Like I remember scenes from Willow, but I don't yeah. I don't really remember Willow. I'm gonna have to maybe watch it um again. I don't know. Yeah, I I would watch it again. I remember seeing it as a kid, but I was way too young to understand anything. I also I thought it came out earlier than 1988, which I get that 1988 is old, but like I would have guessed like early 80s, if not like late 70s, based on like the production value. Mm. Misha's husband really see, likes Willow. I can see the VHS in in my my mind. <laughs> like I know exactly where that where that tape still is yeah. at my parents' house. Um, and I don't remember much about it. I remember wasn't Val Kilmer? Didn't he have like long hair and mm -hmm. that? Was Val he Kilmer. like in a cage or like they stumble upon him in a cage or something? And, Yo, like, I don't know, man. And then he joins the team. I like, I that's that's like the flash, the scene that I have in my head from it. Um, well, what's cool I is do... Warwick Davis is reprising the role. Mm, yes, um, that's cool. And so that that's pretty neat. And uh, it the trailer looks cool. I mean, I'm a sucker for high fantasy stuff, so I'll I'll give it a shot for sure. Yeah, I think the original plan was like this was supposed to be like a Star Wars property, and then it just wasn't. Hmm. That that would oh. be weird if they tried to make it into Star Wars. Well, I think the idea was that it would be like big like that, and then because it didn't get, it kind of just floundered. It, they were just like, well, well, we'll just focus on Star Wars. Oh, I see what you mean. Got it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, this yeah. next and I think, one. Um, Val Kilmer's actually going to have a part in it that he wasn't able to film. I like. I don't know exactly what his part is, um, because he wasn't able to film with them because they shot this during COVID. So he and he's sick, so he couldn't mm. fly overseas. But he, they did say he's in it in some way. So. Do they have a a holographic? Val Kilmer, like holographic Tupac. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, or or maybe it's like his voice, like mm. I don't, know, you know, I don't know. So they'll have to explain how that character is in, involved in this world. In okay. Some way. This next one is has nothing to do with nerd culture. I just think it's neat. I like optical illusion stuff. People study the eyes and vision and stuff. So 86% of the people who are about to see this image feel like they're falling into a black hole. I don't believe this would be triggering uh, for anybody that's sensitive to like flashing or strobing, but I'm also not a doctor, so be smart. Um, but it's essentially um, a, a researcher, Akiyoshi Kitaoka. Um, published this. It's basically a pattern of smaller black dots on a white background and is a completely static image, but your eyes are going to make it feel like you're moving potentially towards this black hole, which I think is neat. Um, and there's all the science behind studying the science and, and physics of like uh, optics. Um, and I think that's cool. And, uh, Basically, researchers feel like this illusion demonstrates how our brains compensate for the processing time needed to visually perceive the world around us. Okay, mm. so here you go. Hopefully, this oh works. And I'm, I'm curious, nervous now. I'm curious to know anybody that doesn't see it. If it doesn't move for you, like, what does that mean? All right, here we go. Okay. Okay. Are you staring the at it? Yeah the the blackness is getting bigger and bigger. Is yeah. That what's supposed to happen. That's what it's supposed to happen. And the weird part about it too is that it makes your eyes dilate. If you oh, really? look, yeah, if you look at this thing and it's like the full screen, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> That's Whoa. supposed to happen. That's so weird. Oh, I hate it. I have to look away. <laughs> <laughs> I love this stuff because it's just oh. dots, man. It's just dots on a white background, and you see this big oh, black my blur. Poor brain and today. It's like whoa. Is there anybody this that is... doesn't see it moving? That's oh what God, I want to know. It. I hate it. Why are you like this? Okay, it's over now. Ooh. I thought it was neat though. It's like, you know, those uh, those hidden picture things, you know, like it's not a sailboat, idiot, it's a schooner. Um, 
You don't see it moving, Toxic Devil? Wait, Arrow Garfield doesn't either? Interesting. Wow, really? Oh my god. I'm like super sensitive though, I think. I mean, you do... You cry a lot. Like at the end of Celeste. Celeste is a, an emotional you game. You were a blubbering mess. On uh, stream. I've been... I'm not on Celeste, but yeah. on other games, yeah. I saw you cry at the end of Celeste, and then you needed to go lie down and, and cry it out. I've cried harder in other games. I believe yes, that. I did cry. A you want a good, is a sailboat. If you want a good crying game before your eyes, is a really good crying game. And that That's one, what I you go need, for. You, you know need, what? I feel uh, like crying today. Oh, what's a really game sad is, game? Before your eyes is is sad, but it's also just a really clever me game mechanic. You connect to your camera, and it tracks your blinks. And you play the game. Every time you blink, it changes the scene. So you're trying to hang on as long as you can to see something play out. But if you blink, you might still be in that moment, or you might be like years ahead. Weird. And so you're, and so you're like trying to track the story, and then yeah, it's like a lot. <laughs> you're a lot it's it's good though you're good though. um what is this summer what summer is this? of gaming summer of gaming 2022 Woo! uh the whole schedule out of what to expect um from the ign expo to the xbox and bethesda showcase to summer game fest there's a lot going on so today's june 1st uh we've got the warhammer skulls showcase tomorrow there's the sony state of play so check that out. Uh, June 6th, you've got Netflix Geeked Weekday series. June 7th, another Netflix thing. Uh, June 8th, you got Black Voices in Gaming and another Netflix Geeked Week. Uh, Thursday, June 9th is Summer Game Fest, so that'll be a big, big one to look out for. Uh, there's an Upload VR Showcase, more Netflix stuff. Uh, there's a whole... There's a whole a lot is going on. We've got Gorilla Collective on the 11th, Wholesome Games Direct on the 11th, Future of Play Direct. And then on the 12th, you've got Xbox and Bethesda and the PC Gaming Show. So, <sighs> mark your calendars. There's going to be a lot of updates this month with games and stuff coming up. So, stay tuned for more. I will. Summer Game Fest. And I'm sure some of it will be covered here on the Weekly by Captain TV. Wow, wow, we will. That's a fact, Jack. That's a fact. It's not personal. It's just business. I love iced tea. Fun facts about socks. Are you ready? <laughs> Why about socks, Juice? Because socks were our art prompt for this week. Oh, way to tie it all together. Huh? Yeah. The world's oldest sock socks pocket? have split toes. The oldest known pair of socks, 1,600 years old, and was excavated at the end of the 19th century from the burial grounds of ancient Ahuachuchach, a Greek colony on the Nile in central Egypt. The socks are made from red wool and have split toes. Thank you. Split toes? What does split toes mean? Like, the socks have toes. You know? Like, if... Oh, like toe socks. Yeah, like a like a ninja, like a ninja. Yeah, um, the word sock has Roman origins. The word sock comes from the Latin word socus, a loose fitting slipper worn by Roman comic actors. But did you know, Nerder, that cavemen were the first to wear socks? Experts believe the first socks were worn by cavemen who wrapped animal skins around their feet and tied them at the ankle. Those are, those are some smart cave men and women. Greek socks were made from matted animal hair. In the 8th century BC, the Greek poet Hesiod wrote about Poloi, which were socks made from matted <laughs> animal hair. Well, did, do you ever like, uh, I don't know if you ever did this with your kids, but I do this with my nephews and nieces of like, like, oh, who's got stinky feet? And they just think it's the funniest thing if you pretend their feet are stinky. Yeah. But I'm thinking of like the cavemen and the Greeks with the animal hair socks. Like they had stinky feet. Like that's not a funny game to play. <laughs> I mean. Like that's legit stink. 
I, I don't know what you want me to say about that. Uh, I'm just saying they got maybe they feet. had real good hygiene <laughs> and we're just not giving them credit. Okay. I don't know. Matted animal hair. That's the Ooh. Greeks, yo. Stanky feet. Mm. Ancient Romans. <laughs> so rust on a nail from a Roman sandal found at an archaeological dig in Yorkshire appeared to contain material fibers suggesting that a sock type garment had been worn. Yes, Roman legionnaires committed the ultimate modern fashion crime and wore socks with sandals. That is hilarious. Did they not have shoes yet? And they only have sandals? They had sandals. It's good for your feet. It gets hot in the in the area, you know? Yeah, so maybe they didn't have closed-toed shoes yet. So they had to wear socks. I mean, closed-toed shoes existed in the time of Rome. It's just Roman legionnaires famously wore their little, like, little bandles, battle sandals, you know? Oh, yeah. Um, people who wear mismatched socks are more likely to be married. It's more common for married people to dress in the dark in an attempt to avoid waking their spouses. This results in them accidentally wearing socks of subtly different colors. <laughs> what an unusual fact. You're how an unusual fact. Measure, how do they even measure that? I don't know, man. I'm not a I'm not a sock contest. We surveyed 100 married couples <laughs> and asked them, "Do your socks match? <laughs> do you I, get dressed in the dark?" Look, man. How do, how does you how do you measure anything in life? You ask Nerder. <laughs> Isn't this gift mesmerizing? <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just your that's just you, right? Yeah, this is me at, at a rave this weekend. Well, this is like this is like you <laughs> watching like Simon and Garfunkel, which is the weird part. This is me when I'm waiting for us to go live and the beats are popping. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Hi, Ali Poops. Hi, Zix Crychicks. Where you been? Um, we got new captain skins. Check it out. Check check it out. What, 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 what's it all about? I'm not sure, but now we're, we're gonna looking find at out. I like, okay, number one, G6. It's just a ham with sunglasses. G what's up? Oh, let me hide oh, us. Oh, I love them. They're like, oh, well, I was going to put my glasses on. Talk to the um, ham. Well, I want to see, we got new glasses. No, not those glasses. Where did you get your glasses, though? I did get my well, glasses. I want to see them. Put them on. Like, Oh, very nice. <laughs> I I Do just you, got them this can morning. You, can you suggest any books for me, Miss Librarian? Um, oh, I just put it back on my shelf. Um, yes. <laughs> How different is your life now? Like, was uh, is it a remarkable change? It. Well, it's so the I'm first sitting, day. If I'm sitting still, it's. I like, hold on. If I'm sitting still, it's okay. But I, they make me very dizzy. Like, I feel like I could just fall over. Well, that's because you've spent the past 30 years of your life <laughs> not seeing straight, not not seeing well, like 2020. And now it's like, it's going to take a little while. Yeah. And well, and it's like for near and far. So I also have to get used to the fact that like, the Nerder top got of bifocals. Like Nerder the top got the bifocals. I wish it was only the top part though, because that's like the cl clearest, and then the nearsighted underneath. It's like that's what makes me dizzy. Hmm. It does seem like an odd choice. Usually, they just give people like your nearsighted glasses, and then maybe you wear cheaters if you need them for up close. Yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna test it out. But even like my monitor, like I'm getting so dizzy. <laughs> my monitor looks. It doesn't look like a perfect rectangle in these. Like it looks, mis like on an angle, like machine. You might just want to get nearsighted <laughs> glasses, like, and forget the the zoomies. Is nearsighted mean we could, so you could see far? Yes. Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Because I'm like, if I go like this, this is much better. Okay, so like when you're deep. just looking at the nearsighted <laughs> part, though, like, 
is it a big difference like you're like wow now i realize that i couldn't read the sign before and i should have oh, been able yeah. to so like i'm on i'm on the on our discord call right now so i could see you and everything if i look at my server icon without it it's like it looks good but it's blurry and if i put it on here i'm like oh wow like that's a good good image file that's cool <laughs> it actually is clear yeah these eyes are, are these wild are my glasses. Man. Eyes are wild. Eyes are wild, Nearder. All right, cool. I like them. They look good on you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to the captain things. Which which six of these are Arrow Garfield skins, do you think? <laughs> which ones are Arrow Garfield? I mean, I just assume he's got six to 12 in every release, Yeah, I was right? going to say six to 12. Um, I don't know if this is his, but I really love H H4. That bear is just like chilling. It's going down, yeah. Is he snacking. eating grapes or something? I don't know what he's eating, but he's just like, I can't be bothered for battle. I'm I like snacking. it. I love it. Uh, N4 is real cute. Are those axolotl oh. holding a an umbrella? I don't know, but those are wicked cute. Those are dope. Those are dope. Oh, I like the um, B6, the guitar. Mm -hmm. That's that's cool. That's cool. Is that a blueberry muffin? A one blueberry muffins are my favorite muffin. <laughs> are they? Oh I like cranberry gosh. orange. Oh, cranberry orange is fire. Because when lemon you get poppy. like the tangy cranberry, yeah. that's my jam. Oh, those are good. Yeah. I like uh, F one. I don't know what that <laughs> is. Riding the banana, but <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course, I, well, I don't know what it is, but I'm really, I'm really drawn to that one for some reason. <laughs> for some reason, <laughs> uh, E2 looks hella violent. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a guillotine. <laughs> it's a guillotine with a knife with... and like a slingshot or something, or a yeah. fork. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but they are like, if they don't guillotine you, they're gonna stab it, stab you. Yeah. yeah. That I want to know um, who's, I, and then it's like pink on top of it. I want to know the the captain because I got to know who to avoid or be nice to at TwitchCon. I don't want to get on their bad side. No, no. certainly not. Certainly. We have some uh, epic C diamond D ones as well. Mm -hmm. I like the new diamond effect. I like the holographic effect. They are cool yeah. and rare. It's a How it's a relatively it's a they're so rare that not that many people have them. No way. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. Um. Blah 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 here we go. We're gonna do a battle. We're battling things. We're gonna uh, do a battle. We're battling things. Bat battle What's it up. What's up, Juice? Do 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 do. Hey yo, it's me, Juice TV. I'm on your screen, and we're doing a fight scene. And now we're punching and kicking and shooting and pew pew. Over to you, nerder. Oh yeah, we're fighting and running and killing the bad guys. Da 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 da. And eating French fries. <laughs> Actually, we're not eating fries because we're in battle. And we're now is not a great time for <laughs> for <laughs> battle fries. But like, I get really hungry when I be battling. <laughs> I mean, they are good for carbohydrates. You know, you need some energy when you're in a battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to fuel up. Yeah. You got to fry it up. Fry, fry it up. Fry, 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 fry it up. What, 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 what's it all about? Books, 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 read them. All right, I put down the Captain TV Mental Health Awareness Berserker. Hey. Hey, yo, away, uh, Angela. Away. How do I get back? How do I, I what know. button do I push? Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. I'm just gonna keep this up until you stop making that noise. Like as long as yeah, as long as you want to keep going with that, it's fine. Blah blah blah. 
blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> you're such a weirdo over here. You're such, you're such a weirdo. Look, Ferret Fawcett drew a ferret with a sock. Oh. More like Look ferret that. socket. Socks in a sock pile. Sounds like a ferret named Socks. Ferrets are little bandits. They steal everything, including socks. Those bastards. I kind of love, I kind of love them. Like, I don't want one, but I kind of think they're awesome. They have but a they are specific menaces. odor. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. They do have an odor, but they also just like, you have to, if you're going to let them out of a cage, you have to keep an eye on them because they will steal all of your shit and hide it. And then not tell you where it is. Those those little rascals. And you're like, where's my car keys? Ferret faucet. And Ferret Faucet's all like They're like land otters. Yeah, they're so oh, I love otters. Otters are adorable. They're so cute. Little scamps. Little Their house scamps. is ferret proof. Oh yeah. Sounds like a lot of work. It's a that's a whole thing. You were a whole thing. Hey, look at all these socks. This is a new character named Socks. I see them as quite par playful. Everyone around them can't help but smile at their silliness. Here is Socks laying in the socks they were supposed to be putting away. Of course, they're proud of the mess they made with the socks. From Golden. From signed, sealed, delivered from Golden. That um, socks just always with the socks. I'm trying to I'm trying to just look at some of these socks. I don't see a lot of pairs. Yeah. So socks is wearing a pair, like a matching pair. Right. But owns no other matching set of socks. Yeah, I could see a couple of, like maybe gray or black ones that you could probably fake as pairs. But everything else seems like a unique sock. This seems like a dryer, a, a, one it of those It also feels like situations. you could boomerang some of those socks. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm confused. Moving on. This is clever. Make the world better. Made the Captain TV logo with so with actual socks. With actual socks. And are they says, clean or dirty? If I hadn't done laundry yesterday, I would have forgotten to do this. Oh. So presumably they're clean. I don't clean socks. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I think this is this is cool. It's funny. I think it's really very clever. clever. Good job, very make the world clever. better. The three of you's youths are gonna get uh weekly TV juices TV uh archer. For your troubles, for your dedication and time, and and thank you for submitting art. Yeah, although I really wanted to see a sock puppet, and no one submitted one. I brought my nerder sock puppet. I thought we were going to have a bit. Yeah, where's your nerder sock I puppet? I spent 65 hours on this last week. 65 hours? Yeah, it's a whole Let's thing. It. No, because Let's you didn't bring one, so I'm not going to. I've got mine. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. So next week's fan art and clip challenge. Yeah, what's the challenge going to be? I don't know. What a waste of 65 hours. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste. I think we should do when we didn't talk about this ahead of time, but I just figured like socks was like a good one. You know, you just want to so, keep doing socks every well, week. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just figured we could let chat throw out a few ideas and then we either just pick one or we could do a poll. But I think okay. like a prompt like socks is really good. It doesn't have to be like very specific, you know? Sandals. Show your pride. Really, really thinking outside the box here. How about what else? We talked about otters. Mm -hmm. We talked about 
Well, we, we talked, talked a lot about Star Wars, but we've already have we already done a we, Star Wars one? I feel like we did a Star Wars one, no? Oh. Um Yes, we have. Or like if you could bring back like Willow's coming back, you know, like, like if you could bring back a series, which one would you bring back kind of thing? It's hard to hard to execute though. That Arrow Garfield, what are you what is this little key cat doing? Snow Sipping. globe. Sipping? Oh, snow globe? I thought it was like a sippy moat. Socks too. I don't know, Juice. What do you think? <laughs> Um, dirty socks. I think Holy it would, socks. I think I think it could be um your laundry. Everyone just take pictures of their laundry. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know. I I thought chat would come up with something. Pizza. I feel like we've done pizza. We did do pizza. We. Did. I think that was like the first one right now. I think we have show your pride and sandals as the two look at you with your glasses on You know, I'm gonna I'm trying I'm gonna see cuz like the point is so I'm not squinting at chat here She weasel. can't read chat y'all like, How did I'm you gonna... live before this were you just like always like real close? Yeah, like when you were typing close. stuff real yeah, I tend to like and then I don't realize it until like I catch myself and I'm like, like I'll bump into my mic or something because it's like right here. And I'm like, oh, wow, I'm like really close to the <laughs> monitor. But I start up, I start out straight and tall. And then eventually, like during the work day, I get closer and closer to the monitor. <laughs> and then I have headaches. <laughs> so. Flowers. Cancel something Nickelodeon. Oh my god, you guys remember Stick Stickly though? Everyone should make their own Stick Stickly. No Bring one knows what Stick Stickly is. Nobody knows what that is. Bring back Stick Stickly! <laughs> no one knows what that is! Uh, I used to have the theme song memorized. I can't remember it. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Juice is making an executive decision. Here we go. Um, What's it gonna be? Random word generator. Oh, careful! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna generate seven words. <clears throat> right to Staircase. Me, stick insert. Protect. Competence. Hardware. Pitch. Yo, box nine, and six, nervous. Three, New York City. New York State. One hundred one. One hundred eight. Yeah. I don't know what that Damn means. it, Bobby knows what's up. <laughs> You're a winner. Damn it, Bobby. I knew I knew someone. I knew someone would know. <laughs> right to me, stick to glee. P.O. Box 963, New York City, New York State, 10108. Do you think that people still do? I always wonder about that stuff. Like if the address is still available. Well, yeah, because okay, so when we were kids, a lot of stuff you would have to write into to get yeah. like the thing. And so there are all of these published addresses that are at one point like just receiving like tons of mail for to like for whatever reason. Like yeah. the stick stickly thing you're talking about. But like you know, is that still if it's owned by like some parrot company that's still around like Nick nickelodeon are they Honestly, still occasionally they smart, getting yeah uh, right if they were smart they would leave it open and then like now's the time to get stick stickly a TikTok. he i guarantee you if stick stickly posted a TikTok today he would blow up all right ribbons ribbons that was what the random word generator gave me ribbons yeah man ribbons Look, ribbon. you could do a pride theme with ribbons. You could do an animal wearing a ribbon. You could, you can be, you, there's a lot to do here. It's very versatile. You could, put, 
You could put a ribbon in your hair. Yeah, you could draw a nerder wearing her librarian glasses with the big ribbon. No, nerder. Wow, nerder. It's like no, immediately this is gets a... clear. <laughs> What a word. You're like it's this it's is like, like those what people see? The one those glasses where the lets the kids see the colors and then they oh, start yeah. crying. <laughs> that gets me every time. I love those. Yeah, I had a you know, try them on at the store and I would like literally did like an audible like whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like you can see? I'm like, yeah, I see everything. I see everything for the first time. For the first time in forever. A whole new world. A now I cannot drive world. unsafely. I can see all the cars and pedestrians and too. <laughs> and now I probably won't run over anybody's dog. At least by accident. <laughs> all right. Ribbon. 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 Get your ribbons. Hey, do you want to play a game? We have plenty of time today. This is great. We this have, is we're so great. too much time, Nerder. How do we have so much time today? What do we normally do that like takes us so long? I think we normally have a little bit more news news to talk about. Do we though? We, yeah, I think we went through it a little fast today. Should we do it again? I don't think we should do it again. We could just go back. I mean, I can pull up some some other ones if we need it. Nah. There's that Winnie the Pooh that I the, I would like debated putting that in. Oh, There's the like weird a, one. The weird, scary one. I don't like that at all. I know. I'm, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that. But oh there's like bother. This, there's <laughs> like a live action Winnie the Pooh horror yeah. thing going around. It's it's messed up. We do have pride skins this week. We'll we'll cover that after we play a game. Um, yeah, we could we'll do. We'll get to a cape reach. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. It's a virtue. It is a virtue. Stay tuned for more information regarding pride skins. This and is other pride uh, this is content. intelligent nerders uh, checking in. <laughs> oh wait, now uh, now normal nerders back. Oh, now uh, smart nerders back. <laughs> Um, S smart nerder, tell us about uh, physics because now you know physics when you put those glasses on. The uh, physics is a uh, it's very well. Uh, you see, um, it's all about the equations and the numbers and the angles and the parentheses. Uh, as a person who wears glasses, I feel offended that you. <laughs> Did a stereotypical nerd voice when with your glasses on? Well, I'm not sure what you're talking about. This is just voice. Uh, yeah, this is how I speak all the time. <laughs> it's me, Smart Nerder. A guy. Yeah, that's a really good impression. That sounds just like me, actually. <laughs> uh, baby, I got a question, though. Hey, Ari, he's picking on me. Oh, he's picking on me. I think we could do... We should hire somebody to make an animated version of this show with me and you. <laughs> and we could just be, we'll just do like a regular show. It would just be animated. And it we would, would we would do better. voiceover. It would be so much better. <laughs> they could make me look handsome. I wouldn't have to do my makeups anymore. You do makeup? Yeah. Oh, I just thought you were naturally like that. No. It, it takes Muppets. a long time just to get to this base level. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Should be Muppets. I, we talked about this bigger. last year, or last year, last week, where I was like, I want a nerder sock puppet that looks like a Muppet, like a real nice one. To make one for this week's challenge, and you didn't do it. I don't it. know how to make a Muppet. You could have made a sock puppet Muppet. No, look, I don't do anything halfway, nerder, okay? It's all or nothing. <laughs> nerder needs a superhero alter ego for when she puts the glasses on. Well, it's like Wonder Woman. Diana Prince has the glasses, right? Yeah. Like the Linda Carter. And then she'd take her glasses off and spin around. Wonder Woman. 
Mac will be a VTuber. I'll spin around. I'll spin around and fall is probably what more realistic. (laughs) I'll spin around and get dizzy and fall. (laughs) And break my leg. Did you just do like a Chris Farley under the the coffee table and the entire (laughs) thing just like falls? Dab by the river. (laughs) (laughs) That would be good. Yeah, I was I was toying around with the idea of being a VTuber because then I don't have to. I don't have to do my hair and makeup anymore. I could just hit go live. I'm done. Or you could just go live. Uh, no, we can't do that. We can't do it. can't be that bad. Old boat. Uh, uh. Odo. Oh, oh, boat. Odo. Odo. I'll do. Yeah. Good, uh, good eye, mad. old boat. He gets mad because I say it wrong. Well, he gets mad at me because I say he's Scottish, but when I went into his chat, he called me a a wee lass or something. And I was like, Well, uh, are you a wee lass? I don't think so. I don't identify as a wee lass. Got it. (laughs) Although I get mad at everyone. Okay. It's not an isolated incident. (laughs) It's everyone. Everyone's free game. Yeah, Baron Von Wolf is right, Nerder. You don't need makeup. You have See, natural beauty. People say that beauty. when you know, don't know what I look like without it. <laughs> if you knew, I will, you'd be like, oh. well, I know I have a picture of <laughs> Never you mind. Without, I take it back. without makeup. And I'm happy to go. put, yes, I do. And I'm How do you... happy to put it up on screen. No, thank you. It's happening. <laughs> no, thank you. Access denied. What game are we playing? <laughs> you look perfectly normal. <laughs> that is me, yeah. Why do you just have that? I don't. I just Googled <laughs> Gary Busey. <laughs> he does have great teeth. Whoa. Say, say what you will. I didn't know he had like, uh, like one eye is like. Yeah, he's got a googly eye. It's not that his eye is googly. It's just like a different shape and size than the other eye, which I had never noticed before. Um, he was in uh, Under Siege. I watched Under Siege again recently, and I had forgotten that he, that he and Tommy, what's his face, are both in Under Siege. Tommy, Tommy what's- you know. Uh, Tellerico? No, no, no. You know, from Men in Black. Lee Jones. Yeah, Tommy Lee Jones is in that. Tommy Lee Jones yeah. and Gary Busey are both the bad guys in Under Siege. Really? Yeah, which re- escalates it to like a whole new level. Like before you were just like, oh, Steve. Oh, I got to show you this. Hold on. The fun prop. This has been in my fridge. I took it out because we got a new fridge. This is this has been in my possession for over ten years now. This is a can, an unopened can, of Steven Seagal's Asian Experience Energy Drink, what the called F? Lightning Bolt, and it has a picture of Steven Seagal on it. Okay, and it says a natural ener- energy drink packed with vitamins and exotic botanicals, and then it's signed by Steven Seagal. And the best part about this is it says 100% Steven Seagal juice. Steven Seagal's lightning bolts. Cram it in your cram hole. So on today's show, we're selling Gamer Tears and Steven Seagal's juice. (laughs) Whatever that is. Is it? Is there still like liquid in there? Yeah, yeah, it it's unopened. Like, it's e- completely like unopened. Evaporated. No, it's 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 heavy. It's full of Steven Seagal juice. I like. I'm concerned that that's like in the window, like, and that's not just gonna like explode. Like, I can't explode someday uh, behind you. Manufactured for Steven Seagal Enterprises in Bro- Boca Raton, Florida. Consume responsibly. Not recommended for children under 18, pregnant women, or anyone else. Or anyone else, it says? No, it says, or people sensitive to caffeine. Oh For my God. best taste, drink by date on bottom of can. 
What's the date? What's the date? It doesn't have one. It has like, <laughs> it has numbers, but no date. Oh. But How yeah, many? Store in a what cool do we gotta place. Do? What it do says we gotta store in a do? cool place, which is why I put it right here on my desk. Uh, okay, I don't think that's. It's a cool place. Man. Yeah. A lot of people uh, like. What do like we gotta this. do to get you to open that and drink it? You want a giveaway from my old fridge? What? It doesn't even work, and it's gone, Squirrelock. Um, sorry. You're just out here giving away I fridges. Would, I'm never gonna drink it. It's a. It's. It was a gift. It was a gift, and I've kept it for for almost a probably over a decade. Oh, you know, indeed, over a decade I've had this, and I'll and never it, give it away. Is it is it really signed or is it like? Uh, no, just no, no, part no, of no, the no. Can? Yeah, it's part of the can. Oh. It has his signature on it, like printed on it. I have a a wine bottle that I haven't opened, and now it, I'll probably never open it. That uh, Kyle McLaughlin signed. I don't know who that is. Uh, Asian Cooper from Twin Peaks. Uh, what's his face from Dune? Um, a bunch of other stuff that I can't think right now. Blue Velvet. It came out in 2011. Blue, Steven Seagal's Lightning Bolt. Yeah, so over a decade, right? Math? 220. It's the 27. Yeah. Dang. It was given to me the year that it, that it, it debuted. Drink I'm not going to drink it. Drink it. I would probably die if I drank that. Just a sip. Yeah, I can't handle 100% Steven Seagal juice. No You're... one can. That's well, why that I did attitude. this. Why they had to stop making it because well, everyone who drank food, it died. You can't handle it. You can't handle the intensity of Steven Seagal. Apparently, uh, he's like that in real life. And... I was I was watching something. I think it was like an interview on the Howard Stern show with like Dana Carvey or like some some of the old like uh, SNL guys, and they were kind of talking about like the worst guests that they ever had on SNL. And Steven Seagal w was brought up because apparently, what he do? He was like super above everything. He just kept shooting down all of this, the ideas to the point where they just didn't have a show and they kind of like threw shit together. And then um, he only agreed to do the show if he could do like a certain amount of time dedicated to like his activism, which is like he's pro. Uh, he's he's all about the environment. Right. And sort of yeah. like leans into like the Native American um, mythos in a lot of his films. So at the end of at the very end of the the episode, there's a sketch where it's there's really no plot. It's just Steven Seagal showing up and to like an executive board meeting from like the oil company, and he just starts judoing everyone. And then at the end, he's like, "Protect the environment." Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, man. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, sometimes you think about, like, things in, in a fond way. So sometimes when I look back <laughs> at my production career, I'm like, oh, you know, I miss it. I miss, like, the crew. And I miss the da da da, -da. And, and then I hear stories like that. I'm like, oh, my God. What an... I would have been so mad if I was working that week. <laughs> right? <laughs> what a nightmare situation. Absolutely. Like, why... And why they even wanted Steven Seagal. You know what I mean? Like, I guess he was a big... A big name at the time and yeah, whatever you want the but... name but that's too bad that he didn't want to play along i love when the stars when they like really lean in. yeah it's the best i'm trying to think someone recently just like surprised me like, oh, oh, no i don't know there there's a, there are some stars that do surprise me has ryan like... reynolds ever been on snl because i feel like he'd be great at it but i don't know oh. that I, i've ever seen him on it if he has i don't remember but yeah i agree i think he I watched a movie that did not hold up uh, with Ryan Reynolds. Which one? What's it called? He's like, he was like overweight in high school oh, and was friend zoned. Oh, my best friend or... Uh... Yeah, with Amy Smart. Yeah. And it's... Uh, 
It didn't. Yeah, it doesn't hold just up for friends, a, just friends. yeah, just friends. Yikes. I mean, look, yeah. I love Ryan Reynolds, but like that was from a period of time that we can all forget, like the early aughts. You know, like I don't know. I still love waiting. Waiting is is funny. It's great. The but problem it's... that I have with a lot of those movies was that like they were just like cas like casually like uh offensive to gay people in particular but and like they were it's all about fat yeah. shaming and like all this stuff you know yeah where it for sure at the time it didn't necessarily ping um on anybody's radar i'm sure people who were hurt by it but like now for like sure. watching it i'm just like oh god no uh-uh yeah, what? that's kind of how I feel about, like, the first couple seasons of The Office. I'm like, ooh, you could not make those jokes anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ye yeah. Ugh. Star of Green Lantern. Look, I'm not saying that Green Lantern was good, but it wasn't as bad as everybody made it out to be, including, like, Ryan Reynolds apparently has never actually seen it. I love that he makes fun of it. Yeah, no, that's great. Like, way to lean into it. It wasn't a good movie, but it also wasn't the worst DC film ever made. Like, it probably is not even the top five worst DC films ever made. Oh, SJ. Yeah, I think I know what that is. And I want to see it. I have, I have it on my wish on my list to watch. I forget the name of that movie, though. There was some movie where he was just was it Ryan Reynolds trapped in like a coffin or something? The entire film was just like really. Oh my god, that would make me. Oh, I don't think I could watch it. it was awful. He was like buried alive and had like a oh, cell phone, I hate that shit. and then it was it's basically like just him buried, making like desperate calls to like people to try to find him. I'm not gonna spoil it. Oh um, god, yeah, that's too stressful. Yeah. I would feel so claustrophobic just watching it's someone be awful. claustrophobic. It's awful. I don't know how they make films like that. Cause uh, 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 Um uh, Hey, let's play a game. Let's play some marbles. Do you want to play a game? Would you like to play a game? I want I was to thinking play about game. Sean Connery. I watched Is it oh god, what is it called? Uh Darby O'Gill and the Little People. Have you ever seen Darby O'Gill and the Little People? I've never even heard of the words coming out of your mouth. Okay. In 1959, <laughs> Disney produced a film called Darby O'Gill and the Little People. And it was basically um this the an Irish, quote unquote Irish, like town, like a small town. And Darby O'Gill is the main character, and he's like an older guy who tells stories about leprechauns, about meeting the leprechauns and capturing them or whatever, and then it happens. And Sean Connery, a younger Sean Connery is in it, right? Like pre-James Bond Sean Connery, I believe. Because I don't wow. think he started doing Bond so until the young, 60s. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Like wicked young. Wicked young. I mean, he was still... He was probably in his like early mid twenties or something at the time. Mm -hmm. Um, what? Why did I think of this? Oh, cause Sean Connery. <laughs> Mish money penny. I I watched it because Sean Connery was in it. I'm pretty sure it's like the first Sean Connery film. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but uh, that was a really good story. Thanks. Anyway, you should watch it. It's probably on Disney Plus. Because everything's on Disney Plus. I mean, it's it's a Disney film. If you guys, if you want to, if you want to watch anything anymore, you got to get the Disney Plus hashtag not sponsored. It had Janet <laughs> Monroe heard, in it. You know Janet I heard, Monroe. I heard the Weekly by Captain TV is actually going to be plus. Is that true? No. Oh. But we can dream. Oh, speaking of dreams. A dream we've deferred. Got, we've got a battle. Darby O'Gill and little people. He uses some very high quality special I'm effects. I'm pretty sure that entire story was made up. It's not. It's true. It's not. Zardoz. The, Zard the Sean Connery Zardoz costume 
is nightmare fuel. I mean, I'm gonna look it up. Oh, Sean Connery Zardoz. Put your glasses on. Zardoz, Z A R D O Z. It's him oh in a God. space Ew, bikini. Why? With like a long ponytail. Ew! What is this? Zardoz. Why is this? Because 1974 was a wild time, my friend. And if if grown ups wanted to wear thigh high wow. boots and a and a space diaper, they could. I if I don't see someone dressed like this at TwitchCon, I'm leaving. <laughs> I mean, you might have to be the change you want to see, right? <laughs> someone needs to cosplay as this. I'm sure. This is a this is a huge miss if so if there's no cosplayer doing this right now. Huge miss. <laughs> Doing things, shooting things, winning things too. Hey, we're gonna end on a loyalty blue skin chest over here. Hey, love to see it. Put my nerder down. Wait, where's the nerder and juice to sack pop? It's great question, SJ. Yeah, SJ. I was wondering where they are too. Well, I made mine, but nerder didn't follow through on it. So, wah, wah. I made mine, but juice didn't follow through on his. What if I did just pull out like an, a, a very elaborate nerder sock puppet? I would die. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Golden, you you make one and then you can just bring it over here, okay? And then I'll use it. Did you know that Golden and I are basically neighbors? Are you guys neighbors? Well, I don't know where Golden lives, but we both live in Minnesota. Yeah, yeah, see how yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. Look, look outside. Look at everything yeah. right next there's to Optimus trees. Prime and He-Man. There's trees and sometimes there's deer back there. Oh, 100 miles away. That's not that far. It's like That's like an hour distance. and a half. What's wrong with you? Yeah, Jim Henson studio and let's get some made. We I wonder if we can get props Piper to make us some. Yeah, yeah. Um, what okay. if we do next week's show entirely with sock puppets? Are we ready for that? Why not? We just have to be like, <laughs> like that, you know? You know? It feels like a lot. I don't know how to e how you would even like know what was going on on the screen. Well, I would, logistics. I'll, the logistics I got, of it seem complicated. I got my laptop here. I can, I'll sit on the floor. You got a laptop? Yeah. I didn't get they a laptop. Me, well, they sent me a laptop. They sent me a hoodie, and then I found out you got two hoodies. I got two hoodies. Yeah. And, and like three t-shirts. What the? And a couple coloring books. I had to send some... them a t-shirt. They were like, you can work here, but you got to send us some Juices TV merch. And I was like, okay. Uh, see, I don't really, I don't got any Nerd She Wrote merch. Well, so it's I not like I have bad. boxes of them. They're all print on demand. I had to pay out of pocket for it. Mm. What are we looking at? Marbles on stream. Marbles on stream. Marbles on stream is a fun game for streamers to play with their stream community. And you stream it and you community together. And apparently there was an update. So my bad, just give me... 10 seconds. Do, 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 do. And we're ready. Humble Juices TV merch plug. No, that's I wasn't plugging it. I would never I would never suggest that you get Juices TV merch. I would never even it would never that wouldn't happen. Do, 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 do. I'm the game's loading up. Hold on. Just uh, slow your roll there, right? Nerd she wrote. It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing's ruined over here. Oh my god, those eyes though. Put your glasses on now. 
Whoa. Whoa, whoa, we whoa. Now take him off. Fit. I don't like yeah, it. Whoa, whoa. See now? Oh, now you're looking sharp. All right, here we go. Game. Click a game. Hey, look at that. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's do a Grand Prix. We're Let's doing do grand. five random paps. Let's do it. Ooh, I can't wait to win this week. You gotta play to play. Play to play. You gotta play to play. Play to play. I'm in the game and I'm gonna win. Look at those combs. You're gonna get some volume in. <laughs> what? Those combs down there. What? Go under. Go down. Oh. Look at it. Those are, those are like brushes, brushes that you do to get like volume in your head. You know, with the yeah, blow yeah, dryer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it just, like... it didn't make sense at first, but now I get it. We're Look at get Trina Castile's apparently hanging out in chat. Goodness gracious. Trina, you're such a tryhard. Look at this. Got a banana on her thing and like a, some zip zappy little stars and all that. They got some zips and you got some zaps. You got your zips over here and your zaps over there. Wow, look at this, the whole sushi theme. I like it. I feel like Ooh. I've seen the sushi like sticks, but this is the first time I've seen the skin. Yeah. With the sushi on it. Mm -mm. Look at this, this is kind of fancy. I'm mesmerized. I was just staring at it, watching the lights. Ooh, what's this one? Got all sorts it's of things going alien. on here. Ooh, it's an alien. They're out there. The truth is the out truth there. The truth is out there. When are they going to remake uh, that show? They did. What? Well, they didn't make it, but they had new new season. Came yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, they're going to re. Though that's you they're can't definitely remake. They're X -Files. gonna. They're gonna hundred percent. Number one. You can't. Yes, you can. X -Files. Yes, you can. Did you know? I'm reading a book. I'm reading a book right now because I have glasses. Um, I'm reading a book. I didn't know this. Uh, Dana Scully, when she appeared, inspired so many women to go into the STEM field that they called it the Dana Scully effect. Hmm. They Good saw like her. a surge in women in the joining the field because of her. Isn't that wild? We watched that on Friday nights in the dorms my freshman year. I love that show. It's a, good, a show. good show. My Fox favorite, Holder. my favorite mm -mm -mm. single episode was the one where Jesse Owens. Was that his name? The the dad from The Flash. Uh, he was in Rent. Mm. He's an actor and uh -oh. singer. Um, yeah, yeah. I forget his name, though. Uh, he was like an alien who came to Earth and just loved baseball. Oh, my gosh. Right. Yeah. That was my favorite one. He just like... I love, I love the one with Owen Wilson or Luke Wilson, and he's like a vampire. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 The other, wow. the other Wilson. Yeah, I don't know. I always thought that, like, that was going to be the popular Wilson brother. And then I was wrong. Yeah. Ooh, Squirrel Lock in the squirrel lead. Squirrel Lock. Well, Trina, you did nothing wrong. Emmy from Minnesota. Go, Emmy. Go, Emmy. Go, go. Oh, you made it in the, the middle. middle, right in the center there. Well, wow, that's a, Emmy. Oh, oh, that, oh, 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 is that good? I don't, I don't know where we're going. Whoa. Everyone's popping up. It's anyone's game. Now it's we John. got, oh, who got eaten? Oh my goodness. Dark, dark? tweets. Whoa, oh, dark tweets. Why power. are you like this? No. Yeeted. Uh, oh, through the dong oh, geez, the dong, the forest of dongles. <laughs> Emmy, Godfrey, lightning, God, lightning Ooh, for lightning. life. Whoop, zoom, zoom, zoop, 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 zoop,
Oh, Lightning, you're so close. Why are you dilly dallying? Stop at this messing point? around. Just get in the fun bucket. Just get in the fun bucket. <gasps> uh, ETT. ET. ET Trespasser has zoomed in front using the power of phoning home. Tina Castile, wow. more like Tina Crash Deal. Get it? Um, Miss G's is in there. Lightning, uh, ET, Lightning for Life, Mrs. <laughs> G's in there. Number three. Number four I just is um, Did you yeet? Yeah, and you didn't even care. Were you Yoten? I touched I my off. glasses and now I have this huge smudge on there because I got the anti reflective coating on it. Oh. oh, I hate it. It's so hard to clean. But it also doesn't, it's better for streaming. The things I do for you people. Wow. Eat the food, Tina. Eat the food. We still got someone eating. Who was that? You just fell off. <laughs> I'm like, why don't I just put my glasses on? <laughs> well, I'm going away. <laughs> Pitlift? Is that who it was that got eaten? Who's back there? Who? Hooli. Hooli. You're going to have to eventually. Oh, the nothing is coming. Hooli. Oh, God. Let's okay. Go. Well, that's uh, one way well. to, to end. Yeah. Go down oh, in the they, cabbage I patch there. I thought they were going to stick the landing for a second. Hooli taking their time. What do you mean? What do you mean, you people? I'm talking about you nerds, you internet nerds. Uh, so Squirrelock fifth, Maquito sixth, Pseudo, Lockmaster, and DCD fused, as well as Alice Anarchy. And can continue and finish up the top ten. And now we're on to the next map, the House of Pain. This is uh, actually just in Nerder's apartment. Yeah. The House of Pain. <laughs> oh, you got to play to play, though. Exclamation point play. You can't just stare at the screen no. and think you're going to be in there. No, nerder. You have to actually do the thing. You have to actually hit exclamation point P-L-A-Y, enter. P-L-A-Y, uh, enter. Actually. Actually. You got to play to play. Who's going to play? We should play mention that play. the top 10 winners, finishers uh, today will receive a Juices TV Archer skin. So get in the top 10. Yeah. And you get the skin. And if you already have it, then give it to a friend. And you'll be cool because you stayed in school. Books. Books, books, read them. Books, math is power. The more you know. Take a look. It's in a it's book. It's in a book. Reading rainbow. Nerder can put glasses on. I can. And Almost now she can read. Sonic Shadow Knight. I can see your name now. Who? <laughs> Sonic Shadow Knight. Before you couldn't? How were how are you getting by? Like you must have had all these life hacks for like being able to see things. Yeah. Is that why you're just like, hi friends? Every time you didn't know who they were. Yeah. Oh hey you. Hey you tiger. <laughs> hey buddy. I ain't your buddy. I ain't your buddy, pal. We Penta got... Hugo, Emmy, MN. Still wow, uh, Emmy is fighting hard. Yeah, Emmy's. Uh... And we get through. Oh. Framstag oh. Fram... Sam. And all oh, Hooli. Hooli. Trina! 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 <laughs> She'll find a way to crash deal again, I'm sure. You gotta be, you gotta be careful on this track because it, it's all smooth. You know, it's so smooth. It's like really it's so polished smooth. wood, you know, it's a fresh polish <laughs> Yeah, it's just been waxed So it's all slippery. So you mm -hmm. got you can't just be all like oh. Going balls to the walls here Trina oh my goodness, Trina, number Trina one is in like the a hood. honey badger out there Spinning around like Trina could Side wow, side went straight whoa, whoa, through. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing there's like cover on this thing, otherwise you would have been yeeted. Yeah. Lucky. Yeet or no yeeting. Whoa, Trina, you're falling behind. Who's this? Chi chi Chicharonita. Hey. Oh, Psy W54 is the first into the fun bucket. Trina! Trina 
is third because Penta Hugo shot past. Then Karen. Chicharunita, Maquito, Karen Myron, C. James, 40, Scourge of Nelta, Fear and Whiskey, and number 10 is Brombory. Brombory hails from the island nation of Bromb. I don't, I made that up. That's not true. I mean, maybe it's true. Last, I thought last week I was doing much better, and then this week, not so great. You did okay last week. Yeah, last week I did okay in a couple races, but this week it's like not happening for me. Netflix is my roommate. Wow. You've got Kanaka a cool roommate. Puddle Glum. Toxic That's Devil okay. from the Titch <laughs> Tweebies. The other name you said sounds like a Harry Potter. Yeah. Puddle Glum. Yeah. Longbottom. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Mr. Potter. Rip. I know. Alan Ripman. Such a good one. How come all of the good people have to die? Well, unfortunately, it's just the circle of life. Why? Did somebody get Jotun? Oh, Captain Red got launched right at the end. That's Dang. why we were waiting for him to hit the ground. And now it's Gurg's splash tastic something or other. What the heck was that? I don't know. That sounds like a place you don't want to take your kids to. Gurg's splash tastic <laughs> sea venture. Look at this map. It's adorable. Oh, no. I love it already. It's like a it's like a water slide. Look at the look at the signage. You can then you have to walk a mile up the ramp. Oh man. Oh, there's a there's a oh wow. That it's a squid thing. Horrifying. An octopus? Is that an octopus? It's an octopus. You, do you not know what an octopus is? I mean, they is? look like squids too. I don't know. The octopus's mouth is on the underside. It's creepy. They're very smart. Yeah. They solve math. They, not, they solve a calculus. They can open jars. They can blow glass into and make jars. That's how smart camouflage. they are. This is a whale or something. Oh my God. No, it's a shark. <laughs> I'm really, do they have an aquarium at, in Minnesota? Nah. Is there any sort of aquarium that you listen, could visit? Listen, <laughs> we have lakes, okay? <laughs> Look, from this side, I mean, it could be a whale. You don't know. We've got two really wonderful aquariums here in connecticut why don't you come for a visit we I'll have an we have an aquarium in the mall in the mall <laughs> i could walk there That's actually the in both store. <laughs> no no there's the sea life in uh the, the mall of america and wow. there's a sea quest in the rosedale mall there's no octopi in the sea quest i don't think but they have little oh. baby they have little tiny sharks Baby um, shark do, 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 do. in the Mall of America one, you walk through the glass tunnel thing, and the Ooh. and like the sharks swim above you. That's cool. Yeah, we have zoos and stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, okay, you have twenty eight seconds to exclamation point play to get in the game. I like this you map. Play to play. You got to play to play. Doop 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 doop. We used to have dolphins at the Minnesota Zoo. At the zoo. We don't have dolphins anymore. It seems weird that a dolphin would be in Minnesota. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 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 uh. Why would there be elephants or giraffes here either? There wouldn't be, but it's a zoo, nerder. It's a zoo, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. It's what zoos are for. Jo Joe Exotic. <laughs> All right, because Connecticut has uh, is a place where African wildlife is supposed to be. I got you. <laughs> Listen, at least our sea creatures are closer to the ocean. <laughs> closer. <laughs> Fear and whiskey got oh, the yeats. No. Wait, are you supposed to be down here? Are you lounging? They're taking a break. I think you can lounging. Are you out? Oh. If you go there, I'm confused. I don't, I don't know. They're getting a snack. There's a lot They're going getting... on in this map. I don't even know where to look. Right. I. Uh, Let's who's coming out who's coming out of this green thing? I don't know. 
don't know. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. This is an, this, whoa. Apparently, you want to be on the purple one because that's the one that gets you down in the middle. Ooh, purple's the way to go. Captain TV. We're catching up, fam. I never really got into water parks. It's not too late. When we go I'm when good. we go to San Diego, we're gonna go to the water park. No, it's like, you know what? If once you become an adult, I don't think you can go to a water park. You can totally go to a water park as an adult. They have adult beverages and you go on the thing. Uh, but then there's like all the kids that pee, you know? They pee and everything. Pee is is sterile and I like it's like the when taste. you're a kid, you don't know. And other kids are peeing. They so have chemicals life. in the pool, so if a kid pees, it actually turns a different color. And then, oh, yeah. and then they get out. Yeah, it's okay, a whole it calls, thing. It calls them if out. If the kid's too young, they have special diapers for swimming that are actually absorbent uh, for the peas. <laughs> for the peas. Mm -hmm. What about the poos? Or is it a Caddyshack situation? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's it it's never been an issue in my life, but. I, I understand that it the threat oh is real. Same, Trina. That's the thing. I remember, like, I think it's different for girls, like, going down those water slides. It's kind of, it's a horrifying experience. Okay. All right. Then we're, <laughs> then don't worry about it, okay? Listen, I, I did okay that round, too, by the way. I wasn't even paying I was, attention. I was distracted by it. I was in top 10, but I was on the board. <laughs> I was distracted we'll by the intricacy of that map. That map was wild, but in a in a good way. You got play to play. Exclamation point play like old bolt. Hey old bolt, why are you picking this ball and not the juices TV ball? That's rude. I thought we were friends. Hurtful. You got to play to play. Who's going to get yeeted this round? Mm. Penta Hugo for sure. Least comic standing 100%. Unchained. Amner? I'm going to give Amner a 5% chance of not getting eaten. Trina Castile. Yeet City. Mm -hmm. Ooh, see, this one, you, this one's deceiving because it looks simple. Mm -hmm. But, but you if you get... know, then you know what's up. Right, you know what's up. I you know, know what's, what's up. up. I... You're gonna get hit by those boulders. What's up? What's up? Remember that whole I thing. I can do anything. Take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. We should sing like a Captain, a weekly, the weekly by Captain TV theme song. Captain TV, it's the weekly by Captain TV. Why don't we know anybody that's good at music that could make us a, a thing? Someone make us a theme song. Yeah, make us a theme song. We'll sing it. We'll sing it. We have excellent singing voices. I mean, me, 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 me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Neem oh. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> there you see her. Dark tweeting it across the way. Wah, wah, wah. Da, 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 da. Where's old bolt? Old bolt. Ah. At least comic standing. It's like Most an energetic jetpack. We've got Toxic. paper of Dean. Karen, Misha, Godfrey. There's a lot of people wow. fighting. Whoa, I don't know the same. Uh oh. Nightmeister. Whoa! There's stuff Toxic. happening. Toxic whoa. is going in hard. Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa. Whoa, whoa, wee, whoa. There's a lot more to this map than meets the eye. There's a whole second part underneath that giant spinny more bit. More than meets the eye. Autobots. I'm a little laggy right now. Something, something to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Do do do. Do do do. It's not do, ESPN, do. nerder. <laughs> it's not ESPN. Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. 
Toxic okay, Kevel so getting getting delayed by the Debris all oh, yeah. over the fields. And now Maquito and Amner fighting it out for first place. Oh, Amner, you almost got yeeted. Oh. That was scary. I was scared. I'm waiting for somebody to get Jotun. Oh, man. There's a couple of them where it was just right up on the lip, you know? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Zoiku, -woo. look at Zoiku. It makes Wait. it exciting. Oh, so you go all the way back. You go up and then you go all the way back. And then you go mm. up and then you go down. And then you go up and then you go up. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on right now. Whoa, Zoiku! Oh, Call the Zoiku! Rip. Gold Ninja. Oh, this Golden Ninja Rip. Ripperonis, bud. I could go for pepperoni. Oh, someone else just got eaten. Who you know, I had a good uh, I had a good pizza the other Nash night, Nerder. I got a Oh. What's the what's the kind of pizza what's it called when you have it's like the basil and the tomato on it? Margarita. Like, I got a margarita, but then I added some pep some pe uh, pepperoni on it. Oh, okay. It was, it was yeah. real nice, man. I love I love a good margarita. Yeah. It's delicious. That basil got to be fresh though. Oh, so fresh. The freshest. Don't don't give me don't give me oldy moldy basil. If you give me some wilted old basil, we're fighting. Yeah. I'm going to call the Better Business Bureau and complain yeah. about you. Can puddle, puddle glum. <laughs> fun bucket. Yeah. Stuck the landing. Oh, uh -oh. someone just yeeted right there. Amner got yeeted bucket. as predicted. Oh, wait. Amner <laughs> made it. Heck. Well, wow. there's like a lot of people just kind of Captain like TV falling. numbers. Not Misha. Oh, uh, Misha. You were why so do you close. don't? Why did you jump? Well, how did you do that? Me. Why? Scuff? Why? Oh, Jesus. Uh, e. Oh, the horror. Oh, the, the humanity. Horror. The humanity. Old Bolt. Hey, I'm, I'm still in there. Terrible move by Old Bolt to just fall into the sky like that. Heckin' Scottish people. Um. What's Nimu werewolf. doing up there? Nimue the Ninniwig. That's the. Uh, the ghost ball so like oh. the previous version of this map was different and Nemo is hanging out in the old school location of the oh! fun bucket oh someone else just missed netflix make the jump don't let's mess go, this let's up go. let's hey, go hey sploosh nice gabagool kanaka puddle glum amner dj slip fram stag sam dark tweets captain tv alice anarchy trina castile and Emmy from Minnesota, as well as Penta Hugo, <laughs> rounding out the top 10. Hey. GGWP, next map. This is our final GG. race already? I don't Did know I pass I out for an entire map? <laughs> I think you passed out during the, um, the water slide one. <laughs> there was a water slide map? Exclamation yeah. point play to get in the game. And if you don't do it, you, then we won't know your name. Damp -damp 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 -damp. Yeah, we're hitting the start button. You have 43 seconds to get in the race here on Ooh, the I weekly by the Captain TV. And you too can beat the pants off of Nerder because she never wins. Oh, one of these, one of these days, Juice. One of these days. <laughs> what? I'm going to win the race. <laughs> oh. I'll at least get top three one of these days. One of these days, I mean, eventually, you know, the law of averages or whatever. Mm -hmm. What's with the color green? I don't know, Seinfeld. <laughs> What's the deal with the color green? What's with the color green all the time? <laughs> you gotta have the color green. Green beans, green peas. What's with green? <laughs> Alice Anarchy Maquito last least comic standing is moved into first place hotly contested by of Framstag Sam I I feel like we always are saying Frag Framstag Sam they always seem to be at the at the front of the pack but they never seem to get to the top they something always happens got scourge scourge well he he goes by of 
That's just because you can't pronounce Scourge. No, I can. But Scourge is a huge troll. And I was like, do you prefer to be called Scourge or Neltoth? And he was like, of. So now he's of. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> what else we got out here? Captain TV. <laughs> Captain got... TV. Oh my God, all the names are just flying so it's, fast. Yeah, it's some of these maps are weird because you may not be in first place, but you're closest to the fun bucket. And so you if I hit mm. this key, like, you know, Sir Block's not in first place, obviously, but at the time it was closest to the fun bucket, you know? Mm. Get to the fun, get to the bucket, get to the fun bucket. Oh, and we got a we got a nice dong forest up here. Who's going to make it through? The forest Toxic. of dongs. Toxic gets a Golden little held up. Psy knows how to navigate a dong forest. Black monster. Right Karen, in the fun all wall. Eat, all oh, eat oh, Toxic devil comes from behind. Psy number two. We got of taking third place. DJ slips into fourth. Buzz King, Squirrelock, Alice Anarchy, Fear and Whiskey. Kanaka Puddle Glum, and finally number 10, Pseudo Dispo. And Woo! here come the rest. Let's go check out last place. Wasn't Least Comic Standing tied for first at the beginning of this with Of? And now they're basically yeah. last place? They just, you know, taking a little snack break. What the heck? Let's go, let's go. Pack Listen, it up, we pack battle. it in. Let us begin. I came to play. The whole thing. We got a whole thing to do. Get in the get, get in the fun bucket. Let's go. Let's go. We got things to do. It's fun in here. <laughs> Toxic Devil, you did it. All right, let's finish, and we're gonna drum roll. If everybody could please drum roll, drum, drum roll, please. Third place goes to Kanaka Bottle Glum. Second place goes to Toxic Devil, and first place, of course is Psy W54, as we of all course. saw that coming. Hi, Congratulations. Hi, hi. Let me get a hi, snip hi, snap. Hi. Let me get a snip snap of this so I can send out some things Dang. later. Dang, still not in the top 10. Ba, 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 ba. Save if the thing. Only. I'd next like week. to save the snip. Next week, top 10, baby. Is that what, is that what it's going to be? Is next week your week? Yeah. All right. I yeah. believe in you. You have, you got to practice though. I'm going to practice It's every not day. just going to happen because you want it to happen. You have to go out and also work towards I'm it. I'm going to go I'm going to I'm going to go to all the battlefields. I'm going to see who's playing marbles. I'm I'm going to do it. All right. I believe that you can. Believe. You have the capacity. Do, do you I believe, believe in Nerder, we have some she new wrote. pride skins. Yeah. Tell us about it, Nerder. So those went live, I think, when we went live, actually. So whoa, they should whoa, be in the whoa, store whoa. now. Uh, all throughout the month of June, you can get these four pride skins. All proceeds will go to benefit Rainbow Railroad and Trans Lifeline. Nice. Yeah. I like the so guy with the little em. flags. Yeah, they're all really good. Um, the unicorn and the flag bearer are from last year, but we got two new ones. So we're like, hey, let's just put them all. Let's just put them all put out them there. Put them all out there. Because they're all really good. You got to put them out there. If you missed last year's, it's not too late. You can get this year's. Actually, it's the, the past couple thing. years, if we're being honest. Oh, okay. Well, well, we got some new ones, too. So there you go. But that's not all we're doing for Pride what? Month. What? Yeah, after the stream, I will post in the captain's channel on Discord a sign up sheet for some June Pride Month spotlight streams. So you can sign up for a spotlight stream and uh, we'll see how many people we can we can. What does spotlight. that mean? You can sign up for a spotlight stream. What is that? So our spotlight streams are we promote you for uh, up to four hours on our in-game banner. And we also promote you on our social media. So you'll get um, a lot of new people on your battlefield and joining your community. And we also give you some skins to give away to your community too. Hmm. So it's just a nice way to spot, you know, shine the spotlight on you, use your platform, showcase your voice, 
let the world know all about you. So we'll put the signups after this uh, stream in the Discord, in the captain's channel. So make sure you're in the captain's channel if you're a captain. Pride skins are not in chests. They are purchasable in the store and the proceeds go to the aforementioned charities. Rainbow Railroad and Trans Lifeline. Uh, I'm running the battle so we can swap over to that. In progress. We still have a little bit more stuff to cover and we'll do the wrap up here. But Nerder, if you want to start working on the, uh, the raid call, I will start looking for someone to raid. I would love. I would love to make a, for you to do I would it. love to make a raid And I call. would love it if you would. I'm so excited to make a I raid I am call. excited to see what you come up with, my friend. You know, all of you all of you watching you don't you don't know maybe maybe you're lucky enough to play to work to get the opportunity to work with your very best friend every week like i do with oh, nerd that? that with nerd she wrote because we're best friends oh all oh, right right sure sure <laughs> um best friend on the internet hurtful best friend on the internet hurtful oh we did it victory we won the battle if your name is on that list then you got extra treats dev stream we have a dev stream friday but this week on friday this week and next week but Stop. details to come because i might have to flip stream <laughs> What do you mean? But there will be some form of a dev stream on Friday. What do you What we've, do you mean? Well, we've got a Raider stream coming up, and then we have a Captain TV dev stream coming up. Yeah. So, stay tuned for which one is happening this Friday. That sounds stressful. No, it's great. It sounds very stressful. <laughs> I'm stressed out about it now. <laughs> Don't ya 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 me. How What's dare. the next thing? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, Captain Hub, play games with your streaming community. Download now, captain.tv slash streamers. The Captain Hub. Cram it in your hub hole. Let's go, get that hub. You're gonna wanna get the hub. Get the hub. <laughs> get it now. Get it now. Get the hub. You gotta get the hub. You gotta play with your viewers. You gotta, you get, gotta the get the hub. Get the hub. What's the deal with the hub? We got the hub. What's the deal with that? Just get the hub. Why don't you have the hub already? I'm telling you, you're gonna want the hub. <laughs> wow, the captain hub is good. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Let me, let me, let me, let me do this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And now Nerder can actually can see the words on the screen. So the typing, the translationing, uh, whatever it's called, yeah. it's gonna be 100. percent Here we go and the music uh dear diary today we had a really fun weekly by captain tv there was a lot of talk about star wars and that was pretty neat nerder got glasses so now when nerder does the thing she's gonna get 100 percent accuracy unlike before when she was terrible at it and always did it wrong just like everything else and maybe there's gonna be a dev stream on friday but we don't know you got to tune in to find out. It's very special. And also, um, we played marbles, and that's fun. All right, here we go. 100%. 100%. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir, n'est-ce pas? Dear Diary, today we had a really fun weekly by Captain TV. There was a lot of talk about Star Wars, and that was pretty neat. Nerder got glasses, so now when Nerder does the thing, she'll get 100% accuracy like she always do. And there's a dev stream Friday, yay! And we played marbles, and that's fun. And also, someone get Nerder a pizza. Yeah, heck, nailed it. Yeah. First try. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Um, so I got... We got a, a, a suspicious lack of face cams among the bottom half of uh, people streaming in the category. So I think we're just gonna ma raid Meg the Math Lady. Um, first summer stream for Meg, our friend Meg. Uh, please hit the follow button. 
She's actually got the Raiders up. She looks like she's playing, uh, what's that game? You know the game. Uh, Hades. Oh, yeah, I love Hades. Yeah, Nyrdor loves the Hades. So we're going to head over Let's there. Go. We'll see you on Friday. Uh, what time does the dev stream start? Is it 2 p.m. Central Pacific? Uh, 1, 1 p.m. PM Pacific. Okay, 4 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. Uh, we will also, of course, have the weekly next week. And then another dev stream. Yeah. Next week on Friday. Busy, busy couple of weeks with streams, so stay tuned. Let's copy that raid call, everybody. Let's go li give Meg the Math Lady a little bit of love. And she's a got she's got love. the donut head going on. Feel free to comment on that. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks Bye. For out, everybody. Bye. <laughs>